Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that Ukraine have received 18 Leopard 2 main battle tanks from the Germany and also 40 murder IFVs. This is according to the German media sources. Murder infantry fighting vehicles equipped with the state-of-the-art technology. Poland become the first country to deliver the first tranche of the Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. According to the Prime Minister of Poland, uh, he said that the first 4 of 14 Leopard 2 tanks are already in the Ukraine now. He tweeted that Poland is the country that was the first to successfully build this coalition of Leopards today also wants as the first European country to give you the Ukraine the first 4 Leopard tanks. Beside that, Poland also announced that the country will give Ukraine 60 PT-91 tanks within a few days as the Polish news agency reported but according to experts uh, the deliveries are not on time and there will be delays in the delivery both officials from the Ukraine and the Poland uh, were posing in front of these tanks the Ukrainian defense minister was basically celebrating this important uh, event with the Poland prime minister and he said that we are looking forward to hosting more of them so obviously uh, the number of these tanks are very much uh, in small quantity and would not change the map of, of the battlefield. Other countries also pledged to provide the main battle tanks to the Ukraine which, are, which have not yet delivered. Some NATO allies are now slowly stepping up and promising tanks out of their fleets hoping to change that. The German minister earlier said that the western countries were basically different type of troubles in assembling 80 tanks uh, for the Ukrainians. In January, the Western countries basically uh, pledged that they are going to provide more than 80 Leopard 2 tanks to the Ukraine. Now it seems that uh, almost less than half of these tanks will be delivered to the Ukraine. The Leopard 2 tanks are basically seen as the most advanced uh, main battle tanks and uh, enough of them are provided to the Ukraine, it will change the course of war. Germany also allowed, allowed the countries to uh, sell the German tanks to the Ukrainians. Sweden also uh, announced that they are going to send up to 10 Leopard 2A5 tanks to the Ukraine. Canada had also promised to deliver 4 Leopard 2A4 tanks to Ukraine from its arsenal. And Canada now again pledged that it is going to provide additional 4 tanks to the Ukraine. The Canadian uh, Foreign Ministry spokesperson basically said that the Prime Minister announced that Canada will provide 4 additional Leopard 2 main battle tanks to support the armed forces of Ukraine in defense of their country growing our contribution to eight tanks in total. The Spanish Prime Minister also announced that he would send 10 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine on his second visit to Ukraine. Finland announced that it would transfer three Leopard 2 tanks from its stock. Norway has also announced that it would donate eight vehicles and four special purpose tanks to the Ukraine. German Defense Ministry announced on February 24 that it would send 18 Leopard 2 main battle tanks to the Ukraine four more than initially planned a commitment it fulfilled today so here we can see that the western allies are providing uh, the leopard 2 ba main battle tank to the ukraine but the number of tanks which they earlier promised they are unable to um, basically uh, provide these tanks due to manufacturing and other maintenance issues yet it shows a massive support for the ukraine from the western countries despite the warnings given by the russia to the western countries yet they have fulfilled their commitment towards ukraine it already seen that few months ago the russian uh, president already said that they are uh, looking at the german presence once again after the second world war in the russian conflict and against the russia historically once again the russians are facing the german tanks in the battlefield so friends, this was about today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. To inform and support your valuable opinion in the comment box. Thank you for listening.